Page 11, court dance. This is a rock variation. This is a variation of the piece that's on page 10, except now they're altering the rhythm a little bit and putting in some accents and things to kind of rock it up, rock and roll type stuff. 4-4 four, four time. Let's talk about the right hand first. 1-5 on all these, that's fine. Just 1-5. You get these in a couple places. Now, I don't know if I've discussed this or not. I can't remember. It's but when I'm doing this in the same fingers, same position, and I'm moving around like this, what I do is I just aim one finger, and it doesn't matter which finger. Usually it's the melody note, but let's just pretend for now it's a thumb. I'm just aiming the thumb. Just aiming the thumb. And if I keep my hand in that position, the, the little finger should go along. It should do. But I'm just thinking about the thumb. Or I could think about the little finger. And let the thumb go along for the ride. doesn't matter which finger, I mean it's good to be able to do either one. The problem with this is that in trying to keep your hand in that position you'll get tense. And you don't want to get tense. We don't get tense playing the piano. What we do is use the wrist to play these. Rather than the whole arm, use the wrist and just play it with the wrist. Lift, lift the wrist each time. As long as you can flex the wrist you can't get tense. You can't be tense and move the wrist at the same time. The body won't allow it. So just remember to flex the wrist. You don't have to worry about getting tense. That's what I suggest you try on these. It'll come in handy later on when the music gets a little more difficult. When you've got other things to think about, this, this is taken care of. And we're not just talking about this interval. We're talking about any two notes or three notes or one whatever, when you're using the same fingers and it's the same pattern, you use the same idea. So, moving on. Right hand. This, we did the first two measures. Now the third measure. You're up your second finger. You're, they say jump. Don't jump. Just move. Just lift up and move. And it's one and two and three and four. It's a little weird because the two B's are tied. You only play the first B. Two. And if this confusing you, then temporarily take out the tie and just play all the notes. One and two and three and four. And then once you can get that, put the tie back in. You think playing the second note. You're just hanging on to the first one. So it's one and two and three and four. You get the same rhythm in the second line. Let's go down to the third line. Chords. C chord, the one chord was one, two, three, four, one. See that chord? All three of those notes are tied. See, in a chord, when you tie notes, you have to tie each note individually. Because if you don't, you ought to play that note again while tying the other notes. So they're, t they're tying all three notes here. So it's four, one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. That's that rhythm. Then the last line is the same as what we've had before. Left hand, you're down here. It's quarter notes. The third measure, one and two and. It's playing when you play the B in the right hand, you play that G. You see how the notes line up? So one and two and three. And that G is tied now in the left hand. You hold it down the rest of the measure. You get the same thing in the second line, and then the, la the third line is just the quarter notes. One tie, because it's tied, like the, it's got the same rhythm as the right hand. Then put the hands together. Right there in that third measure. One and two and three and four. You go as slow as you gotta go to get the rhythm first. One and two and three.
three and four. And when you get it, you can speed it back up. One and two. And then eventually you don't even have to think about the rhythm because you got it, you can feel it. And then you go on. The third line down, you're down here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. idea there. And then you go back and add the articulation. A nice light wrist or hand staccato here. And the left hand. Not the right hand, just the left hand. See the accents on those notes? Play them a little louder. And that, that's a staccato. And the you see the fingering there? One and two. This way you're in position for the next line here. That's all that's for. And then the second line is similar to the first except the last measure is one, two. And here, again, wrist, it's staccato and it's accent. It's got a little extra. Now be careful here. When you play that staccato, the right hand stays down to finish out the beat. So it's one, two, three, four. It comes up on four. The left hand is just down and up. One, two, three, four. Don't bring them up at the same time. Two, three, four. If they wanted you to do that, there's a way to notate that. And they didn't do that here. So you leave that down until beat four. Third line down. Both hands are doing the same here. So one, two, three, four. That's an accent. Give a little extra. One, two, three, four. Rest. Accent. And the last line is similar to the second line. Now they threw you a curve. They do that sometimes. You got to be careful because we got to watch all these little details. Look at the second line, last measure. The right hand is here, and then you have a chord on beat three here. And you hold that down until beat four. One, two, three, four. We talked about that. We'll look at the last line, last measure. It's not the same. There you only have a half note. It comes up on beat three, which is when you play the chord. One, two, three. So it comes up there. They're not the same. So play it accurately. Make sure you're holding that down for however long it's supposed to and then lift up. Then we add the dynamics. It's loud at the beginning. That's the right hand. Keep the left hand softer. You'll have to decide what loud is. This is whatever. And then in the third line, now it's soft. And that's really here it's both hands. Because it, the whole thing together just makes up one big chord. So just here. Accent is just a little louder than soft, not much. A little louder, a little louder, louder. Now I loud. You have to plan this getting louder. But don't get loud to the last line. Like so. Then it's, how fast does it go? Well, they got a half note equaling to that. That's pretty quick. This is this would be a really fast dance. This is a son. Get the idea? But you keep it slow and under control. Don't play it faster than what you can play accurately. We all have a speed limit of what we can go. Don't go beyond your speed limit. It will increase over time, but just keep it where you can control it. I'd like to play this slowly with you to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the dynamics, just the notes and the rhythms and the articulation. I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready, go.
Repeat. Repeat.